This is Top Accolade Global News Update. I am Abiodun Mohamed. The head of Russia's Wagner Mercenary Group said on Wednesday his forces are taking full control of the eastern part of the Ukrainian city of Bakhmut, scene of one of the bloodiest battles of the year-long war. If the claim is true, it would mean Russian forces control nearly half the city in their costly push to secure their first big victory in several months. Ukrainian defenders remained defense. However, last week, they appeared to be preparing for a tactical retreat from Bakhmut, but military and political leaders are now speaking of hanging on to positions and inflicting as many casualties as possible on the Russian assault force. Wagner aide Yevgeny Prigozhin said his fighters, who have been spearheading the Russian campaign to seize Bakhmut, had now captured the city's east. In quotes, everything east of the Bakhmutka River is completely under the control of Wagner, Prigozhin said on Telegram. The river bisects Bakhmut city, which sits on the edge of a swart of Donetsk region that is already largely under Russian occupation. Prigozhin has issued premature success claims before, and newsmen were not able to verify its latest one. Ukrainian military statements said earlier there may be conditions in Bakhmut for a Ukrainian offensive. Palestinian Authority PA security forces have fired tear gas at mourners at the Nablus funeral for one of the six Palestinian men killed in an Israeli raid on Tuesday in Jenin. The fighter had been a member of Hamas and had the Palestinian group's flag draped around him during the funeral on Wednesday, which led to a dispute with the Palestinian Authority, which is dominated by Hamas's rival Fatah. Thousands of people attended the funeral in the Askar refugee camp for Abdel Fatah Karoshe who was from the camp. The Israeli army said it suspects that Karoshe carried out the drive-by shooting attack in the town of Uwara near Nablus that killed two Israeli settlers on February 26. Soon after the funeral began, dozens of PA security forces descended onto the streets and suppressed the procession by firing tear gas at mourners and attempted to block the march with their vehicles. Local reports said the body of Karoshe was dropped to the ground during the incident. The coordinator of the Joint Palestinian Factions Coordination Committee in Nablus, Nasser Abu Jaish, announced his resignation on Facebook in response to the PA's actions. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida has pledged to work even harder to tackle gender inequality, including one of the world's worst gender pay gaps, in remarks to mark International Women's Day. Kishida said on Wednesday that it was imperative for Japan to close the pay gap, appoint more women executives, and reverse the trend of women taking up lower paying contract work after giving birth. In a separate news conference on Wednesday, Chief Cabinet Secretary Hirokazu Matsuno said more needed to be done as Japanese women still found it quite difficult to balance work and household duties despite some improvement in working conditions for women. Japan has the widest gender pay gap in the group of seven, with Japanese women in 2020 on average any about 75% as much as men for full-time work. Despite efforts by successive Japanese government to tackle gender inequality, Japan ranked 116 out of 146 countries for gender parity in the World Economic Forum's global report last year and 104 of 190 countries in the World Bank's latest report on women's economic opportunities. Nepal has made it mandatory for all tourists who trek in the country's Himalayan region to hire local assistance, officials say. The rule, which will come into effect from April 1st, is aimed at ensuring the safety of travelers and creating more jobs. The DPA news agency reported Maneraj Lamichani, spokesperson for the Nepal Tourism Board NTB, the agency behind the decision, on Tuesday said every tourist will have to hire a guide or porter through a registered trekking company. The new rule will apply to established trekking routes within the purview of the trekkers' information management system where each trekker, including free independent trekkers, must obtain permission from the NTB. The new rule, however, will not affect the climbing industry, which has its own set of regulations. That is the size of Top Accolade Global News Update. You can follow us on our social media platforms as displayed on your screen. Happy Midweek!